Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to see you again. We are ready to start with a new module. I'm very happy to see you again. In this model, we are going to do our best in order that you can improve your skills. That is the main purpose. I've been waiting for the, the class. Right now I have only just seven, just six and seven with me. And we are going to wait uh, like five minutes in order that the rest of the student can get in to the platform. And we are going to start talking about the new topic that we are going to study in this module. Welcome back. I, um, I would like to hear you say something in order that you can prove your microphones and be ready at the moment that we are going to start with the class. Welcome back, Narciso Cardona. What can you tell me about? Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Can you hear me very well? Okay. Very good, teacher. I'm ready, teacher. Okay, I like that. What about you, Rafael Ernesto? Everything good, teacher. Everything is nice, okay. I like to hear that. Christina, long time no see. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? I am fine, and you? Fine too, I'm okay. Ready to start? Yes. Okay, I like that. What about you, Norma Carolina? Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, I'm nice. Nice. Okay, okay. I like that too. Welcome, Linda Ivette Marquez. Glad to see you again. Hey, teacher. Me too. Nice to meet you. Okay, <laughs> nice to meet you. Too. Nice to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about Harrison? Harrison, are you there, Harrison? Hi, teacher. Yes. Good evening. What Sorry, happened? I, what happened with I your camera, Harrison? With a client. I am dealing with a client, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Welcome back, Karina. Hello, teacher. Hello, Karina. Are you there, Karina? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, Marlin. Hello, Marlin. Hello, teacher. How Good are you? Evening, everyone. Um, great, thank you. Okay, I'm fine too. Ready? Good, yes. Okay. Just waiting for the rest. Just waiting. Okay, remember that in this module, um, you are going to participate more than the, the, the previous one, okay? And that way you are going to increase your, your skill of speaking. That is my main goal with you. Welcome back, Raquel, you did. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? How do you feel today? Fine, teacher. Okay. Thanks. Okay, okay. I got nine. I, 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 right now I had the half the amount of people that I need to have here. Okay, uh, I hope that all of you have the material that we are going to use today. 
I don't know if you already downloaded. Is there in the WhatsApp group? If you can see it, uh, just let me know in order to post it again, because it's really important that you have it. And don't forget to study the, the lesson that, that we are going to study tomorrow uh, in, a, in a free time, in an, in an app time you can read it in order to get familiar with the sounds and with the topic that we are going to start it, okay? Try to use a dictionary in order that you can look uh, the words that you don't know and keep it, keep a record in uh, as a vocabulary in a notebook and that way it's going to be helpful for you in order to keep in mind all the words that you are listening. Okay, let me see somebody else is here. Welcome back, Maria Julia. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Very good, and you? Okay, nice too. Ready. Okay. I got it. Chen. Seven minutes and we have only 10. I know that sometimes it's a bit difficult because the traffic or cause the schedule that you have. Sometimes it's really difficult to arrive on time two houses, sometimes maybe you have to drive or take the bus. And I understand that. But um, another thing that you need to keep in mind that is that you need to be connected in the class because um, the time is really important for us that you be connected. Juan Carlos is coming too. Hello, Juan Carlos. Welcome back. I'm glad to see you again. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Uh, very well. Okay. Okay. I got 11. Okay, before the, the rest of I, I would like to hear your expectation about this module. I don't know if you want to share with me what you are expecting to learn. If you have any uh, some ideas or, or about what you are expecting to learn this module. Because the next one, the next one I consider that is a intermediate level, I guess. That means that you are going to be uh, with uh, fluency to speak and to give your point of view. That means in this module, uh, I need that all of you participate because you are just uh, to one step to the next level. The maybe is going to be the next year, I guess, because we are going to finish. When we are going to finish? Do you know exactly the date that we are going to finish? Who knows? When we are going to finish? Do you remember? No? Hello. Hello. Remember that uh, I like that you speak. Oh man, we are going to finish on December 10, 
Yes. Uh, the class. Yeah, the module. Uh, December 10th. Yes, we are going to finish on December 10th. And then maybe you are going to have a uh, free just waiting for next year, I consider. Because uh, I have. in Christmas, I, I don't know if, uh, if you are Not going working. to. working. Yeah. Maybe you are pretty busy in your company, so you are going to have a vacation, or some of you are going to travel to different places to visit your families and relatives and I don't know. Maybe some of you are going to get married. So I don't know what is going, what's going on. In my case, is a uh, busy in the work. That means that you are going to uh, be very busy. Yes. Okay. That means that you are going to work uh, extra hours. Yes. Uh, very, very much. Okay. Well, I've been waiting for more than 10 minutes. I'm waiting for the rest of was participant of this group. And I would like that you be on time. As I told before, I recognize that sometimes it's a little difficult for you because the traffic. And maybe you don't have you have to drive or take the bus or take a taxi. It's difficult, and maybe that is the reason why some people aren't here now. But well, we are going to start talking now because. I would like to be sharp in the time with the topic and I'm going to follow uh, all the steps that are required in order that uh, we can start. Okay, first of all, let me check out the attendance to be sure how many of you are present now. And I got the list here. I got it here. Let me see. Okay, we are going to start on Monday 15. Okay, Juan Carlos Palacios. Juan Carlos Palacios is now here. Yes, teacher present. Ah, you are here. Okay. Nancy Vet. Nancy. Now here. Uh, Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Hello, Anna. It's not here. Anna Cristina is not here. Okay. Angel Narciso. Present teacher. Welcome back, sir. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Raquel. Present. Present teacher. Okay, Cristina and Stephanie. Present. Eh, Ana del Carmen Mejia. Present teacher. Welcome. Karina Noemi. Present. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Yesenia Castillo. Karen is now here. Eh, Sulaima Veronica. 
Šlo by má? No. Giovanni Alexander. Giovanni. Hello, Giovanni. Marlene Nicole. Present. Welcome. Person Manuel Hernandez. Present teacher. Welcome. Maria Julia Gomez. Present teacher. Fatima del Carmen Portillo. Present. Okay, welcome back to all of you. It is a pleasure to see you again. As I told you before, I need to follow all the steps that the program uh, require. You know me, uh, but I need to introduce myself. My name is Jose Maximiliano Lasso de Leon, but all my students in different level know me like uh, Max Lasso. And this is my studies, my academic background. You can read it there. I got a bachelor degree in English. And also I have an ESP specialization. Before to get a bachelor degree, uh, I got a, a teacher title. And at the same time, I've been studying some diplomados in INSEFAR, like uh, Torres Virtuales, and uh, how to build uh, content in a digital way, in an advanced level. And I've been working as an English teacher in a public school. Also, I have worked in the National University, also El Salvador, and some private university too. Uh, I had the opportunity to work in a, an American company, it was called RDI International in Miami, Florida. And I've been uh, working as a translator more than five years in a Mercy Mission Hospital in, in Florida too. This is part of my background knowledge. And uh, I'm going to read the requirement that you are going to obey because remember that this is a math for you. And uh, at the moment that you are going to connect to the platform, you are going to use your full name. So please, in that way, I can uh, identify you. And this key and this module, I don't have a uh, oyentes, I don't have it. And don't forget that you need to keep your cameras on during the whole session and try to uh, turn off your microphone if you are not going to participate, because in that way, we are going to avoid interference. And the last part, I like this. I like this part. Active participation is really, really, really important. Remember, this is part of the program, okay? I don't know if you have any questions about from here. And at the same time, uh, the assistant has to be 100% so all the classes. Uh, another thing is that the assistant is not going to be only just in, to be present in the class, but also you need to do all the, all the tasks assigned. And as you know, the assistant is going to be taken in three different moments during the class, at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end of the class. And you are going to say, present, I'm here. Yeah, okay. And another thing that we need to do is that in session one and one, uh, all of you are going to have one day and you are going to have 10 minutes in order that you can uh, ask questions that you maybe 
are not going to have the time to ask me something about a specific uh, topic, um, you are going to do it that way. It's, it is mandatory that you participate in this uh, one by one section. And the last part of this uh, permission are not allowed. Okay, remember this. It's part of the program. I don't know if you have any question. And talking about homework and evaluation, uh, in order that you can pass the module, you need to obtain the 80% uh, of average of all the homeworks in evaluation in order to complete the course. And also the homeworks uh, that you are going to have in the platform. And you can do it after, as soon as we finish the class or in the morning. And all the topic that we are going to cover has to be completed every Friday at midnight. Because at that time, I need to check up and send it uh, every week. And Insafor is going to check it. Uh, and what about the due date uh, in order to finish the midterm? It's going to be on November 26th before midnight. And at the same time, uh, the final exam is going to be on Friday 10. That means that is the last day. Yeah, you have to, that time in order to do that. Of course, if you can do it uh, before this day, if you uh, have all the topic, it's going to be really good. And also talking about the manual uh, or the book, you can download it from the platform and also you have it in the WhatsApp group. And we are not going to use uh, any material for another uh, resources. Okay, um, what else? And don't forget this, uh, at the moment that we are going to use the platform, we need to know where is the, uh, with the bottom mutes, camera, chat, breakout rooms, and also ask for help. I consider that at this level, all of you know exactly everything about the platform, but I don't know if you have any question. Before to start uh, with the new module, I would like to hear you if you have questions, because in that way it's going to be uh, better for me. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Remember that this is the sixth module for you. For that reason, I'm trying not to speak Spanish because you are previous to another level that is intermediate. And there you are going to speak only yes, English, not Spanish. But if you have any questions, just let me know now. I already explained all the rules that we are going to follow. And I don't know if you have any question. I would like to hear you. Any question so far from here? Hello. No question. No question? Everything is clear? Question, teacher. All clear. No question, teacher. Clear. Okay, thank you very much. Let me see, I got 15, only just three. I'm waiting three, 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 three more. Okay, uh, before the start, I would like to know if all of you downloaded uh, the material. Write your hand if you if you say yes. All of you download the, the, yes. the, the book. What about you, Nancy? Do you have the material, Nancy? Okay, and talking about the ones that they uh, they don't have. Hey, no account. teacher. Nancy. Hola, hola. No teacher. Aún no. Okay, okay. Okay, remember that uh, it's, uh, it's mandatory that you turn on your cameras, please. If you have any problem, just let me know because um, I need to make a report. Uh, as I show you, uh, it's mandatory that you have your cameras on. 
So please, uh, I'm going to keep in telling you this because at the end, when in Zephyr, uh watch the video, they ask question about the reason why you don't want to turn on your cameras. So please try to do it. If you don't have any problem with your computer or cell phone, just do it. Okay, here we go, here we go. We already have all the info. And now we are going to start with the new talk. Let me see somebody wrote something. Okay, it's a present. Who is the person? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, um, let me see where we're going to start now. Let me close some windows that I have here because in that way, it's going to be better for me because I don't want to have a, a lot of document open. And here we go. Okay, for the one that already download uh, the material, you know exactly what we are going to do today. Okay, here we go. What's going on here? Let me see what happened. Okay, I got it here. Here we go. Okay, remember that I need that you participate. It's really important that you speak. Okay, today we are going to talk about how to use can and can't. And this is the beginning. Here we go. Okay, let us start talking about this question. What are some of your abilities? I need that you tell me, uh, you share with me, with the rest of the class, uh, talking about abilities. And at the same time, uh, uh, we have a second question that said, are you a fast learner? Okay, based on that, uh, let us talk about your abilities. I'm going to stop chatting because I need to see your faces uh, and I need that you answer this question. Okay, who wants to start? Who wants to start? Talking about your abilities, your personal abilities. Hello. Hello. Remember that I told you I need that you participate. And all the classes I'm going to push you out in order that you can speak. Okay, we are talking about abilities. Okay, let me ask, uh, let me see. Here's Manuel. I'm going to start with the, with the people that got uh, their cameras off. Hello, Harrison. Are you there, Harrison? Harrison. Harrison. And then Rafael Ernesto. Hello. Teacher, maybe it can be our 
when you use a computer or dipping or, or anything. Okay, but, but tell me, uh, in your case, you consider that have the ability to use a computer? Yes. Okay. Is a is about this or or no? It's about what? It's over there, it's over there. Yeah, yeah, talking about personal abilities. Yes, I think yes. Yeah. And the oh. is is very is very um, fast to learn. Okay, do you consider that uh, uh, you are a fast learner? Yes. It's about uh, no. anything about the computer. Okay, when, when you are studying something about computer, you learn really fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. What else? Another ability that you have talking about a score or something? Hello. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I need that all of you participate and talk about your abilities. Just let me know, please. It's really important that you participate in that way. What about you, Juan Carlos? What can you tell us about your abilities? I like to read. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay, Juan Carlos. I like to read books. Okay, do you consider that you have the ability to read? Okay, what else? You need to know uh, yourself. No. Um, I have the numerical ability. Okay. Um, can you give uh, give us uh, some hints about what you are saying? That means that you keep in my. Uh, Telephone numbers, identification numbers. What else? Teacher. Hello. Uh, another. Mm -hmm. Another is is knowing how to use the social network. Okay, the ability to use social mm -hmm. network. Yes. Okay, excellent. What else? Somebody else, please. Hello. Let's talk about abilities. Pretty easy. Hello. Somebody else, somebody else, please. Hello. No les creo. No les creo que no sepan sus habilidades. Um, me teacher. Ah, ok. I could the hard hair, hair off. Ah, you had the ability to, to cut hair. Yes. Ah, ok, nice. Ok, what else? What about the second question? 
¿Qué hay sobre la pregunta número dos? Do you remember it? No. ¿Se recuerdan la pregunta dos? Yes. The... Are you a fast learner? Or not? Yes. Okay. When I ask this question, what are some of your abilities? That means that you have a lot of abilities. Uh, for example, somebody uh, could say, okay, one of my abilities is that uh, I can communicate in an easy way with different people because I'm friendly if, I'm, if I travel in a bus. Uh, as soon as I sit down, I start talking with the person next to me. Yeah. Or I, I have the ability to explain something by phone. I had the ability to drive a car and so on, different, different situations. Okay, but let us continue. Remember that um, I invite you to participate because it's really, really, really important that you participate. We have a conversation here between Andre and Ben. I don't know what is uh, what they put it, Andre. It, it is like a French instead of say Andres. Okay, uh, listen, listen to the conversation, please, and later we are going to practice. Hello, Ben. Welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. Uh, what qualification do you have for this job? Well, uh, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can use spreadsheet. But I am a fast learner. I get it. We can use her. Okay, when we talk about abilities, we are talking about all the skill that you have in order to perform a job. Okay. I'm going to read it again. So please pay attention. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can, can speak English also. I can manage small and big projects and I am a very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak uh, Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I, I can use spreadsheet. But I am a fast learner. I get it. When do you use, sir? Okay. I need uh, two volunteers who wants to read it. You need to change. Later on, we are going to practice uh, in the breakout room. Okay. You and somebody else, please. Me. Okay, Marlon. Me, teacher. And Linda. Okay, do it. Do it now, please. Hello, Ben. And welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch, a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you, can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can use spreadsheets but I am fast learner. I get it. Where can you start? Okay. 
Uh, I need that you uh, learn how to pronounce the word, this word. Remember that in English it's a really difficult, uh, sometimes difficult, but what we have to do is yeah, repeat it as many times as possible. This is not Honduras. Honduras in, is in Spanish, but in this case is Honduras. Honduras, you know? We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. Okay, I need uh, somebody else who wants to read it, a couple. Somebody else, please. Make the job. Okay. And you need uh, somebody else. Me teach. Me? And Fatima, Fatima. Okay. Hello, Hello Ben. Ben. Okay. Continue. Go ahead. Thanks. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andrew Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position <laughs> for a branch in Honduras. What the qual qualification do you have for this job? Wow. I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I'm very good at sales. That's sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using friendships? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese. But I can't use a search, but I am a fast learner. I get it. Where can you start? As soon as possible. Okay, I'm going to read again. Uh, so please try to pay attention in the way that I'm going to read it. Remember that at the moment that you are speaking with somebody, uh, you have to do it in a natural way. Don't forget that it's like when you are uh, speaking in, uh, Spanish. Yeah, you do it naturally. Okay, say hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andrew Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English also. I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using the spreadsheet? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can use a spreadsheet. But I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay, any question? No? If you don't have the material, uh, I invite you to make a screenshot para quienes no tengan el material y pueden hacer una captura porque nos vamos a ir al breakout room. Pueden hacer en this moment, please. Done? Yes? Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this and you are going to practice this conversation with somebody else. Let me see, I got 15. Um, maybe I'm going to have a group of three, but you are going to interrupt each other. And later on, you are going to do it from the class. Okay, I'm going to create it. Uh, in the room one, it's going to be, let me see, Ana, Juan Carlos, and Karina. And you are going to try to work together. I'm going to give you, let me see, three minutes, I guess. Okay, it's gonna be three minutes, it's enough, I guess. And try to practice. Try to practice. I don't know if we have any questions. Before to go to the breakout room, 
No? No question? No, so, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, here we go. Let's do it now, please. Malen and Norma. Marlene Nicole. Marlene. Go to room seven, please. Marlene. Okay, right now they are practicing the conversation, getting familiar with the sounds and later on they are going to do it in front of the class. We need to wait for them. Marlene, are you are you there? Okay, welcome back. Suleiman. Eh, no se oye. Yes, Julia. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hello, Ben. I come in, my name is Andrea Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for Abraham in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects, and I am very good at sales. That's sign great. Can you speak in Chinese? I am I and why about you see speeches? Can you use it then? I can speak little Chinese, but I can use speeches, but I am a fast learner. I get it. What can you start? Thank you, Julia. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Don Narciso. I'm ready, Cristina. Yes. You start. Hel Yellow ben. Hello, Ben. Uh, welcome. My name is Andrea Rivera. 
Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We're offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for the, this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big, big project. And I am very good at sales. That's so great. Can you speak Chinese? Uh, what about using expressions? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can use expressions, but I am a fast learner. I get out. Where can you start? Okay, Thank Christina, you. thank you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. The last couple, because we need to go to the Ready next one. Juan Carlos. Ready, Ami. Ami. Okay. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andrew Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English, or I can manage a small and big projects, and I am very, very good at science. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using expression? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can I can use expressions. But but I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, remember that uh, you need to try to get close, so close to the sounds. And that way it's going to be better for you. And people are going to understand you better, you pronounce. Okay, let us continue uh, with some question that we have here. Let me get the okay. We have the pair words uh, getting pairs and discuss the following question. Question one say what are some of the qualifications that are required for the position available? And the second one, what are the qualification for the work you do? Talking about yourself. I'm going to give you two minutes in order that you can answer these two questions. If you have a, the opportunity to make a screenshot, do it now because I'm going to stop chatting. But I need that you speak and share your ideas. Let us do it in two minutes. But I'm going to recreate the groups. I got more, one more. Remember that we are going to focus our attention in these two questions, okay? Try to talk about, uh, I don't know if you uh, understand the second one. Is that clear? The second question? No? Yes. Repeat again, the, the second question. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about the second question. The second question said, uh, what are the qualification of where you do? Talking about yourself. In Spanish, what is the meaning? Tell me. Tell me. Uh, let me see. Norma, Carolina. I have a question for you. Yes, teacher. What do you do in your company? Um, I am um, uh, making voice and coordinate uh, uh, the despacho, no sé cómo se dice, teacher. In order to be in that position, uh, is mandatory some qualification, right? Yes. Okay. Exactly, you need to talk about that. We manage uh, a program for billing and inventory too. Oh, okay, okay. If somebody asks me to talk about my qualification in my job, what I can say is that in order to be a teacher, you need to have a title. And at the same time, you need to know about the subject that you are going to teach. That is part of the qualification. And at the same time, uh, the experience that you to have in order to work in a certain level. Okay, based on that, it's going to be the two questions that you are going to discuss. Here we go. Let us do it now, please. Uh, I'm not alone and let me see now. Let me see here. Marlene. Marlene. Go to room number one, Marlin. Marlin.
Okay, let me check out the, the assistant again. And later on, we are going to talk about the answer of this question. Juan Carlos Palacios. Hello. Present teacher. Okay. Nancy, Vivet. Nancy. Present teacher. Okay. Hey, Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Ángel Narciso. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Linda Yvette. I'm here, teacher. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Cristina Stephanie. Present teacher. Eh, Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Karina Noemi. Present. Karina, okay. Rafael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Karen Yesenia. Karen Yesenia. Sulaima Veronica. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Eh, Marlene. Present. Person Manuel. Present teacher. Maria Julia. Present teacher. Y Fátima del Carmen. Present. Okay. Thank you. Yo no, no me había conectado todavía. Ana Cristina. Yes. Let me, let me, let me see. Anna Cristina, okay. okay. No problem. Okay, who wants, to, who wants to talk about the last question that I show you? Let us talk about the last question. Okay, the, uh, let us talk about the last question. What are the quali qualifications for the work you do? Or maybe if you want to answer the number one, you can do it. But I need that you tell me something about this. Two questions, please. Only one, only one. Just rush your hand if you want to answer. We are talking about skills. I already gave you some examples. Me teacher. Okay, uh, Fatima. Okay, the, the qualifi qualif qualification that is required in the company where I work is uh, to speak English and to manage or to use Excel and, and especially to use the pivot table. Okay. The capacity also to to write and speak with the with the customers. Um, well. Uh, to prepare reports, different reports. Okay. Um, basic, basically, is that the most okay. important thing? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Somebody else, please.
In my position as a teacher, one of the qualifications that I need to have is uh, that I need to be passion, you know. Una de las mayores cualidades que debemos de tener es la paciencia. Yeah, and all the time that we keep and saying, okay, I need that you participate and, and, and I keep doing this and telling you this. Imagine if somebody is not passionate, you know. Okay, somebody else, please. Alguien más? What are you doing now, please? Hello. Teacher, do you speak Chinese and use, uh, use the spreadsheets? Ah, talking about the, the, the manager position, okay. Okay. What about the second question? Talking about yourself. Teacher, me. Okay, Julia. I can speak little English, but, and I can use spreadsheets. Yes, yes. Okay. And talking about the position uh, in your company, what is required to be in your position? Para que alguien pueda ejercer el trabajo que usted hace en el lugar, eh, valga la redundancia, en, en el lugar donde usted está, ¿qué habilidades debe de tener la persona? Um, habilidad de, es que no sé cómo se dice, habilidad de negociación. Ok. What else? Mm. What is your position in your company? Customer service. Excuse me? Customer service. Ah, okay, customer service. Okay, that means that you need to have the ability to talk with customers, yeah? And at the same time, you need to be really, really passionate in order to, to talk with them. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you, Julia. Somebody else, please? Hello. Me teacher. Juan Carlos. The, the, the qualification for my work is uh, how account, accounting no led, ledger. Uh, okay. ha, ha, handle Excel be tight. Okay, in order to be in your position, somebody need to know uh, accounting. Okay, and uh, at the same time, uh, know how to use uh, Excel, right? Is that right? Yes. Okay. What about the rest? Hello. Me teacher. Recuerden que los que participan no se duermen. Los que no participan se duermen. Me teacher. Okay, tell me, Marlin. And in my case, um, is um, I'm very good at sales, complete okay. the monthly goals, and have the reports on time, and trying the personal. Okay. Okay, excellent. Okay, cause of the time, uh, we need to go to the next exercise. And uh, uh, do you remember that I sent you a video 
I don't know if you have the time to watch it. So, recuerdan que les envié un link en su grupo de yes. WhatsApp. Yes. I don't, I don't know if you have the time to watch it. No sé si lo pudieron ver antes de la clase. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, in the video, uh, they are talking about education abroad. And we have a different way how to talk about education. We have uh, like uh, five people. And at the same time, uh, we have a different uh, title, we can say in that way. For example, uh, we have a uh, we have Tom, we have Mary, we have Hassan, Olga, and Raf. And at the same time, we have uh, the title that they have. For example, BA means Bachelor of Art. The subject is history in the University of Toronto. And later on, we are going to see different ways how we can say it using different kind of pair. Maria have an, an ABA. It is la, this is a master of business administration where in Harvard University. And we have a Hassan is a BHC, is a bachelor of science in microbiology in the University of Cambridge. And also we have Olga with an AM, is a master of art in psychology. Where in for University. And the last one we have Raf. Uh, he has a PhD. It, this is a doctor in philosophy. Where in Nico? This is the is a economy, economics. Yeah, and. Where in MITS, what is the meaning of the, this uh, acronym, this Massachusetts Institute of Technology? But uh, we need to know how to, how to talk about this. Because later on, we are, you are going to, to tell me about your education. And I have some examples in order that how we can say it. Okay, try to keep in mind, uh, let us talk about Tom first, and we are going to read some examples about Tom. Okay, in this case, we can say that Tom has a BA in history from the University of Toronto, but also we can say that Tom has a, a, a BA in history from your university. It is different. That's the first one. And also I can say that Tom graduated from the University of Toronto with a BA in history. There are three different ways how we can say it. And I need that you pay attention about this. And then we are going to go back again to study Mary. Mary has an MBA an MBA, Master's Business Administration. Okay, how we can say this? I can say, for example, Mary holds an ABM from Harvard University. And right here, we need to be really, really careful because I'm using M and I have a letter M here. Somebody want to tell me why I'm using M here? Hello? Repeat, please. Uh -huh. Aha. Okay. If you take a look here, when I talk about Tom, I said Tom has a e aim. I use the article a. But in this oh. case, I said Mary oh. holds an, and I got a letter MBA. Why I'm using an here? Because M, the beginning are vocal. Yes. 
When we spell the letter M, the sound is M. That means that they start with the vowel sound. It starts with the vowel. For the reason we use M here. Or also we can say Mary has an MBA. Okay. And this one, for example, Hassan graduated from the University of Cambridge. If you are talking about somebody else, but let it go back. Okay, and Olga, what about Olga? Olga has an MA, this is Master of Art in Psychology. Where? Fernando University. But let us see some example here, how we can say it. Okay, when we talk about Olga, we can say that Olga obtained an MA in psychology from Oxford University. You can say in that way. But if you don't want to say in that way, you can say Olga got an AM, a MA in psychology from Oxford University. Or you can say Olga completed an MA in psychology at Oxford University. Different. And the last one, Ra has a PhD in economics from MIT. Or you can say Ra was awarded a PhD in economics by. MIT, I already explained you what is the meaning of this Massachusetts. Yeah. Okay, we have different way how uh, we can talk about our education. I don't know if you have questions about from here, but now I need that you talk about your education. Okay. What can you tell me about yourself? Hello. How you are going to talk about your education? Let us talk about your education. Tell me. Hello. How you are going to talk about your education using uh, your title, maybe uh, a technician that you have or something like that. Hello? I got, let me see, two, four, six, six people that the camera are off. Okay, remember that we need to keep our cameras on. We need to see your faces. It's part of the requirement that we need to obey. Okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm waiting that you share with me your information. Hello. Hello. Hola. Teacher. I'm going to show you this. Okay, tell me. In my course, only high school in the uh, Instituto Nacional uh, or IMA. 
Okay. Only teacher. Okay, thank you. Remember that you need to you need to talk about the degree that you have and also if you have an specialized field. And you can talk about the name of the university or or a, a, a technical school. But you need to know how you are going to deal with that information. I'm waiting. I need, I need, I need to get uh, more information about you. In me, I only, uh, I have a uh, by two years general. It's a um, specification or a contabilidad, I don't know. Good keeping or accounting. Accounting and the institu institution high is a um, high school. Okay. Is a um, collegial queen of business. Ah, okay. It is public or or a private school. No, not public. Not public school. No, and then. In the university, not yet. Maybe in the next. Okay, maybe in the year. future. Okay, <laughs> okay, nice. Somebody else want to say something about that? In my case, I hold uh, two bachelor degrees, one in English and one in. Uh, like accounting, but it's uh, related with education. And at the same time, I have uh, two title of teacher and I'm a physical education teacher too. And at the same time, I hold uh, a title as a martial art trainer. What about you, Narciso? What can you tell me about yourself, Narciso? Narciso, are you there? In my case, teacher, uh, a company technician uh, from uh, so. They be G. Jusman High School. Okay, okay. Nice. Thank you. Okay, remember that you have the example of how you can talk about your education levels. That is important that you follow uh, the rule how you are going to, to use it. And uh, later on, I'm going to share with you the, the PPT, the PowerPoint presentation, in order, that, in order that you can have the examples, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay, because of the time, uh, we need to go with the next uh, activity. Let me see, here we go. Okay, uh, okay, let us talk about how to use can and can't. We are going to use can when you want to name your abilities. And you are going to use can't when you don't know how to do something. And I got some example. I can speak three languages. I can direct small projects. 
I can use a spreadsheet, but I learn fast. I can use this program, but I am a fast learner. Okay, in order to explain you this, I'm going to give you some extra information. Let me see. Jesus, let me see something here. Okay, hold on a second, please. Here we go. Okay, let us talk about can and can't and talk about abilities. We have a, a, the affirmative way. In this case, we can say, I can, you can, he can, she can, uh, it can, we can, you can, they can. For example, the lady said, parrots can talk. We are talking about abilities. And the parrot say, yes, we can. Kangaroos can jump. Also, we are talking about abilities. What about this one? Humans can jump too. What about this one? What can you tell me? The tire can run. Let me see. Ah, cheetahs can run very fast. Cheetah. Yes, cheetahs. Have you heard that word before? Habían oído esa palabra antes? Yes. Ah, okay. Nice. Mm. Los que no la habían oído, anótenla en su vocabulario. Okay. Some people can run very fast too. What is the name of this person? Do you remember? I don't know. From Jamaica. Zain Bo. Who is? He's uh, one of the fast uh, men in the world. He won the title uh, like three years ago or more. Dolphin. Maybe. Uno de los hombres más rápidos del mundo. Oh. Yes. Okay. Más que Rafa. Dolphin can swing. Yeah, dolphin can swing. Talking about ability. Okay, somebody else want to read this, please? Many people can swim too. Okay, many people can swim too. And um, the last week I saw in the news that some uh, athletes from El Salvador won some medal, including the, the daughter of uh, the president of Indus. I don't remember the name. Do you remember it? No? No. Hasta la hija del presidente de Inde ganó una medalla de, de oro, creo, en natación. 
I don't remember the name. Okay, this is the negative way. I cannot, this is I can. You can not is the same to say you can. Uh, he cannot, that is better to say he can't. She cannot, she can't. It cannot, it can. We cannot, we can. You cannot, you can't. They cannot, they can't. Okay, somebody want to read this? Parrot can swim. They can swim, only fly. Now we can. Okay, what about this one? Hello? Kangaroos can talk. Okay. What about this one? Dolphins can roam. Yes. They only can? Swim. Swim, okay. What about this? Hmm. Elephant can jump. They can jump. And also we have the interrogative way here. But uh, in the topic, uh, we are just starting positive and negative. Just take a look at the information in order that you can have it. What you are going to do to ask question is just to move the position. Uh, the, the auxiliary is going to be at the beginning and then the personal pronoun. For example, can dolphins swim? Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. uh, can elephant jump? No, they can. Uh, can kangaroos fly? No, mm -hmm. they can. Can parrot talk? No, mm they -hmm. can. Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. And so on. Okay, we need to talk only yes about abilities. Hey, now it's your turn. I mean that you tell me what you can do, but you can do. Tell me. I need that all of you participate. Let us talk about your skills. Hello. Giovanni, can, can you play the guitar? Uh, no, I cannot play the guitar. No, I can't. Yeah. No, 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 I no, can't. I, no, I can't. Okay. No, I can't. Uh, let me see, Juan Carlos. Can you play the piano? No, I, I can't. Ah, okay. Julia, uh, tell me something about your ability, something that you can do. I can run. You can run, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ana Cristina. I can I swim. You can swim. Okay. Fatima del Carmen. Yes. Tell me. I can sing. You can sing? Yeah. And oh. the chart. Just on the chart. Ah, just on the chart. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um Raquel, you did. Hello, Raquel. 
tell us what you can do. Mm. I can the play guitar. You can play the guitar? Yes. Okay. We have somebody that uh, can play the guitar and somebody that can sing. Okay, suddenly we are going to we are going to play something, okay? At the group, at the team, the music. <laughs> yes. De repente vamos a pedir a alguien que saque la guitarra y a Fátima que nos cante. Yeah, to see the abilities. Okay, somebody else, somebody else, please. Uh, I can I can drive. You can drive. Yeah. Car or motorcycle bike. Uh, only car. Only car. Automatic. Um. Or yes, standard? and and uh, the boat. Both of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, another Carmen, tell me what you can do. I can play basketball. Jeez, you can play basketball. Excellent. Suleyma. Uh, teacher, you can dance? Okay, you, you it's a question for me or you are you are trying to say yes. that, you, that you can dance. Uh, es, es a usted, si usted ah. puede bailar. Ah, entonces la pregunta tiene que ser can you you can you can you dance? Can you dance? And sure. also, and also, you need to add the, the kind of music because remember that we have an, a variety of music. Okay, teacher. Yeah, can Thank you then? I prefer salsa instead of uh, cumbias and something like that. <laughs> okay, teacher. Yes. Okay, Nancy. Nancy. Hello, teacher. Yeah, uh, I can, I can dance, and you can I dance. can swing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Norma. Carolina. Uh, I make a bread. Oh, you can make you can make bread. Okay. Yes, different bread. Bread. Oh. Um, dry card too. Okay, dry card too. Giovanni, you already talk, right? Uh, I can play soccer. Ah, you can play soccer. Excellent. Juan Carlos. What about you, Juan Carlos? Uh, I can uh, swing. Okay. Thank you. Cristina, you are going to tell me two sentences. One using can and another one using can't. I can make pizza. Okay. I can't think. You can think, okay. Yes. Marlene, the same. Two different activities, one positive and one negative. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Okay, Linda. No, let, let me see, let me see. Raquel, you did. Raquel, you did. Talk about can, something that you can do. Teacher, lo siento, pero se me desconectó el Inter y ahorita acaba de conectarme nuevamente. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. Linda Yvette, are you there, Linda Yvette? Linda. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Well, I I can draw a little bit and I can't what? I can't drive. Okay. Harrison? Person. Person. It's not there. Karina, tell us. 
What you um, can and can't do? I can cook dessert and I can't drive. You don't can. Oh, I don't believe you that you don't can drive. <laughs> yes, I can't. Yeah, of course, I know. Okay, excellent. Rafael Ernesto? Rafa. I can run uh, very fast, uh, 45 kilometers. And Jesus. That three hours. It's in my hobby. Okay, okay. And what about Ken? Ken, I cannot. I can't dent. Really? Really? Okay. Okay, let us continue. Remember that you need to you need to develop your skills. Okay, let us do this uh, in a hurry, please. Let us do this exercise. We are going to do it with the help of you. Oops, let me see here. Here we go. Okay, complete the sentence with the with the abrogate form of scan. Number one, I'm sorry, I? Can help you. I'm really busy. Okay, I'm sorry, I can help you today. I'm you really busy. Help. Okay, second one, please, a volunteer. I just can't manage to wake up in time. I'm always late. No, okay, number three. Look, it's right there. Can you see it? It's so obvious. It's so obvious. The number four. I can speak. I can. <laughs> okay, continue, Nancy. Okay, I can speak German. I live in, in Germany for eight years. I live in Germany for eight years. And the, and the last one, please. Okay. She doesn't have a drive license. She can drive a car. She doesn't have a driving, driving license. She can drive a car. Okay, thank you. And you are going to work in this activity. You have it in your material. You are going to complete the diagram with things you can and can do. And then we are going to ask a classmate about his or her qualification and write it in the second diagram in order to share the answer with the whole class, okay? Try to solve it uh, by yourself first. If you don't have the material, make an screenshot now, please. Para quien no ha descargado el material, haga una captura, por favor. We already talked about can and can't. But later on, we are going to talk about you and your classmate. Only just three can and three can't. Okay, try to work on it now, please. And try to, so please, I need that you download the, the material. For tomorrow, you need to download it. Three can and three can.
Let me see if you are working. Okay, I guess that you already have your own information. And now we need to talk about your classmate. In order to do that, we need to go to the breakout room and then you are going to share your information. In the diagram, you have uh, the space to write down uh, your abilities. And at the right, you are going to write down the abilities of your classmate. For example, uh, if Maria can think, you are going to say, Maria can think, yeah? Okay, here we go. Let me see. 17, I'm going to recreate this group. Here we go, here we go. Okay, try to speak in English, please, and share the information with your classmate. Let me see the time that I'm going to give you. Three minutes, it's enough in order to do it. If you need more, I'm going to give you and try to write down the information, please. Here we go. Go to your breakout room, please. And share the information that is needed. Marlene and Julia. Somebody's waiting for you in the breakout room. Marlene Nicole. Julia, Julia, so please go to your room.
Ticho, no habíamos terminado. <laughs> I know that sometimes uh, you feel the time is running so fast. But at least you got, you got an idea of the abilities of your classmates. And talking about the one by one, hablando del uno a uno, I would like to, to tell you who is going to be the first one for today. Let me see if I can see it. Okay. Juan Carlos Palacio Ramirez. You are the one. Okay. Es Suleima. You can uh, dance. Uh, she can dance. She can dance. She can. Uh, uh, no recuerdo la otra. Acut. Acut. Y she can. Uh, uh, Drive, she can uh, sing. Swing, okay. Rayon and Rafael, she can, uh, he can, he can use arm, he can play soccer, uh, he, he can swing, he, and he can. Uh, dance. Thank you. En español, eh, se recuerdan que siempre es mandatorio que tenemos que tener 10 minutos al final de la sesión para cada uno. Eh, voy a leer los de esta semana para que tengan claro qué día les corresponde. Y recuerden que eso también es parte de su formación. Ok, para el día de hoy, lunes 15, Juan Carlos Palacio Ramírez. For tomorrow, Nancy Vivet. Uh, for Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, let me see, Ana Cristina Chavarria. Friday is going to be Ángel Narciso and Friday, Norma Carolina Villet. So please try to be there for the last 10 minutes. No sé si les quedó claro el martes Nancy, eh, miércoles Ana Cristina, jueves sería Ángel Narciso y el día viernes Norma Carolina. Serían los de esta semana. Yes, teacher. So yes. please, I, I need that uh, you be there. And if you don't have any question, well, maybe some, something you have to tell me. And uh, But I need to have a uh, proof that you are attending this 10 minutes. Okay, somebody else want to share the information? Alguien más quiere compartir la información? Me, teacher. Okay, Cristina. Um, Fatima. Um, can uh, ride the bike, play the soccer, and make pupusa. Okay. I, she can drive a car and play the piano. Okay. Only that. Okay, somebody else, please. Somebody else? Okay, my classmate Christina. And she can swim. She can cut her. She can make pizza. And but she can drive. She can play the guitar. And she can sing. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else, please.
Somebody else, please. Okay, remember that tomorrow uh, at the beginning of the class, we need to make a review about the topic that, that we started the previous day. The one that uh, didn't participate today, they had to do it tomorrow. <laughs> So please, I, I keep in mind. El día de mañana que hagamos el review, los que no participaron hoy, lo harán al inicio. No se me olvidan los nombres. Así es que do it now. It's better. Y no les tocará mañana. Pero necesito que todos participen. No así dedocráticamente, fulano. No, ustedes solitos. Okay, and the last part that we need to fill it is this. La última parte que vamos a hacer es esta. Let me see. No sé please. Okay, the self-assessment. Now that we have started this topic, talking about can and can, uh, you are going to evaluate yourself. I can respond to question regarding the qualification. Mucho question, I hope. And you are going to choose the option that you consider that is the one for you. Independently with the occasional help or only with help. How only with help. How how you can do it? Just tell me. Is it, it is called the self evaluation. Esa es la la auto evaluación de hoy. You need to keep in mind, please. And let me check out the, the attendance again. A revisar otra vez la asistencia. Okay, uh, Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Nancy. Present teacher. Eh, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Ángel. Present teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Linda Ibel. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Cristina. Present. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Karina. Present. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Ahí está Rafa, ahí está Rafa. Karen Yesenia. Karen Yesenia. Leima. Leima Verónica. Present teacher. Okay, Marlene. Present. Person. Person. Maria Julia. Present. And Fatima del Carmen. Present. Okay, before yeah. we go, before we go, I would like to remember you that uh, you need to solve some exercises in the platform. So please try to do it uh, as soon as, as possible. Eh, antes de que nos vayamos, recordarles que siempre es necesario que vayan haciendo los ejercicios de la plataforma porque esa se va a ir actualizando cada viernes. Así es que les pido de favorcito que comiencen y que no vayan dejando mucho tiempo para que no nos cueste. ¿Ok? Y eh, la otra es, entiendo que algunas veces es complejo por eh, difer diferentes razones, por el tráfico, 
eh, porque el, eh, el bus ya iba lleno, pero tratemos de, de estar lo, lo más presto posible eh, a la hora para iniciar a tiempo y así aprovechemos el máximo. Es muy importante y lo que siempre les he dicho, en, eh, se los digo ahora en español, eh, no es que yo me lo invente, ahí está en lo que yo les presenté al inicio, la participación de ustedes es vital. Ya vamos, estamos próximos a otro nivel y eso es importante, que participen. Hay que vencer todos los temores, miedos y todo lo que sea necesario. Ok, then uh, I need to talk with Juan Carlos Palacios at the, at the end of the class. Good night, I hope to see you tomorrow. I don't know if we have any questions so far from here. No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta hasta acá. No. No teacher. No, no teacher. No question. No teacher. No question. Ok, preguntas o sugerencias. No hay. Okay. No. Ok, um, ahora decirles que cuando tengan alguna duda no esperen eh, al siguiente día, no, hágala, pregunte al final, levante su manito, digan, eh, teacher, I have a question, so please help me in this, and I'm going to help you. Because the main purpose is that you speak English at the end of this level, in order to start a new one, ok? Okay, good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Okay. Good night, teacher. Bye, Nancy. Good night, Nancy. Nancy. Bye bye, Nancy. Something happened to Nancy, I don't know. Creo que se le congeló la pantalla. Yes. <laughs> something okay. happened. Sí, something happened because I, I, I can mute. Let me try to do something else. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you have any question, my friend. If you have, eh, if you have question, yeah. Then... Luego pregunta en español porque no sé cómo preguntar, pero eh, cuando estábamos viendo de de las como las profesiones, no mucho le entendí la indicación de. Ah, okay. When well, we need to talk about education. Education, perfecto. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. Uh, ok, te lo voy a explicar así en español rapidito. Hay diferentes maneras de cómo explicar o decir los títulos que alguien tiene. Eh, ahí hay cinco nombres de cinco personas. Eh, algunos tienen eh, diferentes títulos en diferentes universidades. Entonces eso en algunos casos se puede decir de diferentes formas. Let me show you something. Te voy a mostrar algo. Primero por acá. Para que usted tenga una idea de qué es lo que estaba explicando. Esto lo mostré en las diapositivas. Acá lo tengo en, en, en Word. Ok. Ok. Estos son los grados. Estos de acá. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo. Art, aquí, bachelor or, of Art. Que es arte de. Sí. Esto, eso de bachelor, eso es como una licenciatura en arte. Ah, ok. 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 But in this case, Tom has a BA in history. Él tiene una licenciatura en historia. Porque recuerde que el arte se divide en diferentes ramas. ¿Y Entonces, dónde? ahí donde dice subject, puede ser historiador? Mm, no. No. Aquí es la materia. Ah, la materia, ok. Sí, aquí es historia, microbiología, psicología, okay. economía. Okay. En cambio, si ya dice historiador, ya eso ya es como un hombre. 
Ah, ok. ¿Y dónde lo obtuvo? La obtuvo en la University of Toronto. Okay, Toronto. Sí. Ok. En DEN, y por eso aquí hay tres formas diferentes de cómo decirlo. Por ejemplo, Chan has a BA in history from the University of Toronto. O, El, ok, dígame. Eso se, sería como él estuvo o, o sacó una licenciatura el, en historia. Aquí como quien dice Tom tiene. Una, ah, licenciatura, una licenciatura en historia de la Universidad ah, de Toronto. De Toronto. Uh -huh. En la segunda, Tom has a BA in history from your university. Aquí en la segunda sería Tom tiene una licenciatura en historia de la Universidad de York. Ya es diferente la forma como se dice acá. Or, We can say Tom graduated from the University of Toronto with a BA in history. Como que Tom se graduó de la Universidad de Toronto con una licenciatura en historia. Ah, ok. Sí, en esa, par en esa parte me, me perdí. Ah, ok, pero aquí estamos explicándolo. Okay. Entonces hay, hay tres diferentes formas de cómo mencionar títulos académicos. Ah, okay. uh, and now go about Mary. Mary has an ABM. María tiene Master of Business Administration. ¿Dónde? En Harvard University. En Harvard University. Ahora la pregunta que yo hacía era que por qué yo tenía an aquí. ¿Y por qué en este tenía A? Ajá. ¿Qué recuerda? Por la pronunciación. Que, mm. que le sigue una, 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 una vocal. Porque el artículo, cabal. El artículo A se usa antes de una consonante. Y an se usa antes de un sonido vocálico. Porque alguien le puede decir, no, pero mira, eh, ahí la M no es una vocal. Pero cuando la pronunciamos M. en inglés es M. Entonces comienza con una vocal. M. Comienza con una E. ¿Se okay. comprende? Yes, yes. Ok. Uh, and the next one, Hassan. Has a BSc, is a Bachelor of Science in Macrobiology from University of Cambridge. Entonces acá es, uh, por ejemplo, decimos, Ma María holds an ABA from Harvard University. La palabra es importante saberla. Holds es... Holds, eh, traducida en español, eh, sería como lo más cercano. Déjeme, déjeme darle una traducción más cercana. Pero que, que llegue más. Eh, es como algo que, que, que uno tiene, pero ya ha traducido eso de hold. Eso viene de, del verbo help. Help. Sí. Eh, ¿Cómo ayudar? No, no. Help con D. Ah, ok. Sería como, ¿cómo le podría decir? Um, como que mantiene, como que tiene, como que posee. Eso sería sí. lo más, lo, lo más uh, ah, okay. cercano. ¿Sí? Posee una maestrilla. Ajá, posee, cabal. Oh. Ok. Yes. Ok. Eh, de ahí, por ejemplo, en el caso de Olga, podemos decir Olga Obstein. 
an MA in psychology from Oxford University. Entonces, ahí estamos Cuba. diciendo que Olga obtuvo, sí, un Master uh -huh. of Art in Psychology. Okay. Or, podemos decir, Olga got an, a, an MA in Psychology. También se puede usar eh, esto de got, que es pasado de get. Ok. Sí. Obtuvo. Y, eh, sí, y también se puede decir Olga completed an MA in psychology at Oxford University. Ok. And the last one, Rah has a PhD in economics from uh, MIT. Right here is missing the letter. Economics. Ahí está. Okay. That is the way that we can uh, talk about education. Esa es la forma que okay. usamos para referirnos a, a títulos. Thank you, teacher. Sí, hoy oh, sí, okay. me, me queda claro. Ah, ok, excelente. Ok, sí. And, ¿another question? Uh, no, no, teacher. Ok, ok, thank you. Uh, to stay with me at the end of the class. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Ok.